very easy to pick up. You just grab them in the, in the center. You need a little bit bigger of a cutout. Anywhere where there's a solid piece. Hey guys, this is Tyler with Top Lids. I'm here with a, one of my favorite type of tanks, actually. This is an Aqua Forest tank uh, from somewhere in the uh, Nordic countries. I forget exactly where, but they're a European brand. And uh, this is the four foot version. This is a six, the 605, the 605 version. This is what it looks like. It's all in one piece, right? It comes with two feed doors, just like this. So they're all screened. You don't get any condensation on the bottom. Very easy to pick up. You just grab them in the, in the center where the three braces meet. And they do sit recessed down inside, so they cannot fall in the, into the tank. Also, if I were to take this lid off, the feed doors are not going to fall in the tank, so they stay put. As long as you don't, like, you know, tilt it all the way back, it'll stay in there. And then obviously we have some light cutouts for these are red sea lights. We do light cutouts for any type of light. We do them basically right around the actual light, not a generic box cutout. We like to get as close as possible because this is the most likely place where fish are gonna jump out on normal DIY lids, the do-it-yourself lids that you have to make from the black bars, is the light cutouts because you can't really make it this precise with one of those kits. You have to kind of do a bigger, you know, cutout like that and they can jump out that gap. So we do it right around the light, uh, the light cutouts. For the aqua forest tanks, we do like to have the overflow open because it, it's a very nice looking overflow, so we like to keep that. Um, there is a little piece that goes on top of here that I will show on the video now. Uh, we didn't have it ready in time for this client, but we're gonna ship it to them. And those little pieces, the black pieces that go on top of the overflow, those come standard with every aqua forest top lid. And then just some basically some cork cutouts. Back here, this client does have a gyre pump, so usually we do a little bit smaller cutout, but we made a little bit bigger of a cutout, just so that he has some room for it. And then the really cool thing about this lid is this guy. So this is the top lid's evaporation cover, and I hope that it's showing on my shirt, okay. Uh, but there is an engraving on this evap cover, essentially anywhere where there's a solid piece on any lid uh, that we do, we can put an engraving, we just basically engrave with the machine, just like this. So this is the Notre Dame logo, super cool. Uh, and I will put this on here, I'll show you how it goes on. Essentially these tabs here, the hazed portion, that is a tab that rests on the frame. If you look at the lid, it has the same thing. So this is what rests on the glass. And then this, on the evap cover, is gonna sit on the frame of the lid. It does not sit on the screen because then the screen would bow, it sits on the frame. So I'll show you guys, come back just like that. Let's see if I can get it first try. Boom. And so it should sit on the front here and also the back too. So you have front and back support. On the sides, we like to keep them open with these openings just to make it easier to grab when you're taking it off. If there was totally sealed, it's really hard to kind of get your finger under and get it grip. So, you know, we just have it easy to take off, just like that. And then when you put it on, just, just the same. And otherwise, guys, that's, you know, pretty much it. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed. This has been the Aquaforce 605 Ocean Guard uh, top lid project with an EVAP cover with a custom engraving. Again, if you have questions, feel free to visit toplids.com. There's a, there's a phone number at the top of the website that you can either call or text us and speak with one of our designers, or there's a live chat button, a big orange button in the bottom right of the uh, website. You can also click there and chat live with a designer. So again, hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Tyler with Top Blitz, and I'll talk to you soon.